Good morning, friends and my dear students. I am Dr. Rajni Gaur and today I am to take up a new topic from the subject language across the curriculum. In my previous video, you have seen and about the theory of innateness given by Abraham Noam Chomsky. In today's video, I would like to discuss about the perspective in language development theory which is given by Skinner. Perspective in language development given by Skinner and that I would like to tell you something about the Skinner. Boris Frederick Skinner, B.F. Skinner was propounded this theory and he was born on 20th March 1905 in Pennsylvania. He, com he was not only a great American behaviorist psychologist, but a writer, social philosopher, inventor, etc. His theory is also known as behavioral theory and operant conditioning theory. He was best known for his influence on behaviorism. He referred to his own philosophy as radical behaviorism and suggested that the concept of free will was simply an illusion. Now what are the stages of language development in early childhood? First six years of life of a child is a very crucial phase for language learning. If we divide these six years into the months, let's see what are the various types of development related to the language development takes place gradually. Initially, from three in a, in a year, babbling is an important feature of this stage. Children play with the sounds and communicate with gestures. They produce sounds like p, b, m, n, etc. 12 to 18 months, children only utter those words which they listen very frequently. But till 18 months, they can speak approximately 50 words. During 13 months, they use two or three words like ma, papa, tata, etc. In 14 months, they start imitating others and in 15 months, they can speak five words. In 16 months, they attract towards colorful pictures of books. During 17th month, they use different words for different purpose regularly and understand directions command instructions like come here, sit down, etc. But yes, these actions should also be symbolized with the person through expressions or through symbolic body language. 18 to 2 years. This is the stage which is characterized by the vocabulary enhancement up to 3,100 words. He starts using two to three words together and try to communicate in phrases and short sentences. In 19th month, starts communicating through words and pictures by pointing out them like chair, dog, fan, etc. In 20th month, learn new words, 8 to 10 words per day, like names of body parts, fruits, or other eatables, or things around him or her, etc. In 21st month, when you sh show pictures, he call them by their names, and also use short sentences. In 22nd month, he imitates other be others' behavior can use thank you, sorry, as for the need of situation and understand opposites. 
in 23rd month can make two or three word sentences express his liking and disliking and can use up to 15 words in 24 in 24 month start talking about self begin to understand abstract concept and his speech is understandable two to three year children they start producing simple as well as complex sentences they can express their needs to others they understand what a child says they have desire to be independent three to five years it is the preschool age the vocabulary keeps on growing and he uses basic rules of grammar while speaking the child belongs to 5 to 6 year children develops their imagination power at this stage and which helps them to narrate short stories shows their liking and disliking etc they imitate things rapidly irrespective of right or wrong like greetings touching feet of elders abusive language etc b f skinner was also this theory is based on the idea that learning is a function of a change in overt behavior and changes in behavior are the result of an individual's response to events and actions that occurs in his environment this theory works on conditioning which is based on stimulus and response mechanism in skinner's theory of language development the main principle of operant conditioning as defined by skinner is positive and negative reinforcement in general behavior people perform the actions again and again which are highly appreciable in society and avoid the actions that are appreciated or condemned in society it is called conditioning after performing various experiments skinner identifies three types of responses on operant that can follow our behavior so through this explanation we can conclude that society appreciate the conduct of an individual or society condemned the behavior performed by an individual is obviously motivate the child to behave in a fashion that is to be acceptable by the society now what kind of the responses on operant that can follow our behavior first is neutral operant responses from the environment that neither increase nor decrease the probability of a behavior being repeated reinforcers responses from the environment that increase the probability of a behavior being repeated reinforcement can be either positive or negative and third one is the punishers responses from the environment that decreases the likelihood of a behavior being repeated punishment weakens behavior according to skinner behavior like response or action is simply a word for what a person does in a particular situation conceptually we may think of a behavior as sandwiched between two sets of environmental influences those that precedes it and those that follow it the one who precedes its antecedents and the one who follows it its consequence this relationship can be seen as a is followed by b is followed by c antecedents behavior and the consequence for another situation c can be a changes can be brought in animal and human behavior by bringing changes in a and c both according to behavioral view it is c that means consequence which determines whether a person will repeat the behavior by two ways first is punishment and second is reinforcement punishment is given when we want to weaken or suppress the behavior produced by our learners a behavior followed by a punishment is less likely to be repeated in similar situation in future 
punishment may be of two type type 1 punishment and type 2 punishment let's see what is type 1 punishment and what is type 2 punishment type 1 punishment is also called presentation punishment it decreases the probability of undesirable behavior exhibit earlier by children this punishment decreases the chances that a behavior will occur again by presenting an adverse stimulus following the behavior example poor handwriting writing five more pages wrong spelling stand up and raise hands poor performance in academics stay back at school etc these are the kind of punishment which motivate a child not to repeat that behavior in future to weaken these undesirable behavior teacher used punishers to alter learners behavior type 2 punishment it is also called removal punishment in this type of pun undesirable behavior a teacher or parents can take away the privileges given to learners this redirect learner from undesirable to desirable behavior for example poor handwriting no sports period for a week is a kind of advantage which is taken by or snatched back from the learner wrong pronunciation ban on tv poor performance no birthday celebration this year etc type of punishments are intended to decrease the undesirable behavior responses a child receives from teacher parents and environment as punishment decreases the likelihood of that behavior from the side of child second is reinforcement on the other hand reinforcement is given to the learners to strengthen the desirable behavior shown by them this reinforces increases the chance that this behavior will occur again the reward is one of a type of reinforces used by most of the teachers and parents it is also of two types positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement for example good handwriting star a grade proper pronunciation very good good academic performance new bicycle etc this theory also has some limitations with it and these are children are often unable to repeat what an adult says especially if the adult utterance contains a structure the child has not yet st started to use critical period for language acquisition children who have not acquired language by the age of about 7 will never entirely catch up and next is observational studies of parent child conversation brown and hanlon in 1970 shows that parents rarely reinforces correct grammar in a child's speech but instead tends to focus on the truthfulness or accuracy of statement hope the explanation provided to you for the theory given by skinner helps you to understand it well thank you so much